my first yoga practice and it was like coming home. It was like falling in love. It was that love at first sight type of experience. This is your pose and you need to deal with it. The iPod came out and you, there was internet radio but you had to go to a website to listen to it. Podcasting came along and it was a way to syndicate basically your own radio show or TV show if you do a video podcast. and. So I could basically syndicate this out, and every time I released an episode, it would automatically, magically appear in somebody's iPod. And on their commute to work, they could learn about prenatal yoga, or they could learn about, um, you know, surviving sexual abuse and using yoga as a tool to do it, or mindful weight loss, or there's so many different... Um, Yoga in the 12 Steps, Buddhism in the 12 Steps. I mean, I've done hundreds of podcasts at this point. I had this student, Jerry Lynn Cohen, and she, I wanted her to be my first guest because she, I'd watched her come to my restorative class going through cancer treatment. And she would come to my class and she would just, I didn't know much about her story, just that she had breast cancer. And she was going through chemo and, you know, was bald and wore the scarf on her head. And I talked to her a little bit, but I would see her just lie in these restorative poses and weep. Just tears would roll down her face. And, and how she would leave with so much more light in her eyes. And she told me once how the doctors were so amazed at how well she had tolerated her treatments and she attributed it to the yoga. And so I interviewed her and she has this beautiful touching story and she had this particularly difficult strain of cancer to cure. Um, and she was a single mom. Her husband had died the year before. It was such a touching story. And so I did my first podcast and I syndicated it out. And I thought, you know, maybe 10, 15, 20 people would download it. Got hundreds of downloads. And we got emails from places all over the world. Um, I think she got an email from someone in Malaysia who was going through cancer and didn't even have access to yoga, really. Not, not the way we do here. And it just made me realize, like, wow, this is big. You know, you, you do something on NPR and you're getting a much wider audience, obviously, but something where you have a targeted audience of people who just want to learn more about yoga and healing and modern spirituality and toss around different ideas and get inspired about their life. And I get emails from people in every... I don't think I've had any emails from Antarctica yet. <laughs> the penguins haven't been listening yet, but um, pretty much everywhere else in the world I've gotten emails from now. So it's, it's pretty, pretty amazing. I went to West Vine Street School, and I went to um, Pawkatuck Middle School, and I went to Stonington High School. I actually edit the podcast here at my, my main desk with my, um, my iMac, which does sort of the heavy lifting, but usually I record in the back room where it's nice and quiet. People think I have some really glamorous recording studio, but um, usually it's our, my roommate's massage table and a couple microphones and people show up. And um, I don't know what they're expecting, but I don't think they're expecting to be sitting at a massage table doing, a, doing an interview. This is very <clears throat> low tech. It's, it's, um, I got a little soundboard and it plugs into my computer and two mics. And, we run with it. My desk looks like somebody shit on it. Did you get that? You know, if someone wanted to do stuff I have said on video, like when they're setting stuff up, 